Hi, this is uh, Bob Maslin again, uh, Blade on the uh, Home Seer message board. Uh, in this video, I'll be uh, talking about BLRF, um, which is uh, a plugin for uh, Home Seer 3 or greater. Um, what this plugin allows you to do is uh, it will receive RF signals from X10 motion sensors uh, like the MS13A, the MS. Uh, 14A, MS16A, um, X10 motion sensors, uh, as well as the RFXCOM um, X10 sensors, uh, as well as the temperature uh, and uh, environmental uh, sensors as well. Um, so let's uh, let's go to this plugin, start it up. Okay, so on the house codes page, uh, what this gives you is the option to basically deal with the X10 sensors. Uh, house codes A to P. You can basically disable any house code you want by checking this box in the house code that you want to disable. Power line retransmit. What this does is once the X10 RF signal is received, um, for example uh, B1, um, what um, what will happen is you'll receive the RF signal but if you want the B1 X10 command to go out on the power line you need to check this box for the B house code and then that will in turn send the B1 X10 command over your power line without this retransmit turned on it will not retransmit the uh, X10 signal on the power line uh, ignore on allows you to ignore an on signal from any house code uh, as well as ignore off you can ignore an off signal from any house code um, ignore bright ignore dim same thing you can ignore them for whatever house code you want ignore all on and all off um, you can ignore an all off signal for a house code as well as an all off signal for a house code security devices so what are these these are your um, DS10A door and window sensors from X10, um, your MS10A, which is your um, wireless motion sensors from X10. Um, these all have a unique address device ID. Uh, you can set up so when you add one, you type in the location and the name, so that'll be the location and name of the device that will be created from this. Uh, the device ID you need to get from the device you're trying to add. Um, choose the type depending on which one you want to add. You can add an MS-10, a DS-10, a security remote key fob, or a security remote control. Um, so if you want to, there's an option here to auto load. So what this option will do is it will cause the plugin to wait for five seconds um, and then it will pull in the last unregistered device ID address that was received by the plugin. So, um, if you're going to use the auto load, um, the op uh, I recommend that you have the device with you. Press the button so the signal is received by the plugin, and then press auto load. And within five seconds, that code will appear in this box. Another way to do this is to go into the options and turn on the log messages received from receivers to so the home seer log. What that'll do is it will log every message received by the plugin to the home seer log. So if you're watching the log and you press a button on the, uh, say on a DS10, press the test button, that will you'll see that in the uh, home seer log, and you'll see the address right there. And that's another way you can get that and then fill in this value and hit add. So once you add all your devices in, the plugin will um, turn those on and off uh, with the appropriate um, alert or normal uh, for a door and window sensor. Uh, you can edit them as well. Click edit. You can change the device ID if it's incorrect. You can change the type um, or the location and name. If you're going to change, if you want to change the device names, I recommend you use the plugin to do this. If you go into the device management here and change the location or name the plugin will not see the device anymore so recommend that you change location and name 
in the plugin and then it will update the device for you. Uh, sensors, these deal with the RFXCOM receivers. Uh, there's two receivers that are supported in this plugin. There is the RFX REC433 receiver and the RFX TRX315 receiver. The TRX315 receiver can run in either 315 megahertz or 310 megahertz and the plugin should allow you to use either one. Um, so when you're adding in a, a security, a um, sorry, a sensor, click add, very similar screen to the security devices, put in the location, name, device ID, same thing, it's got an auto load, it will receive the last received signal, populate it in here for you, and there are a bunch of different sensors you can add in here, depending on what you want to create. Uh, let's go through the options. Debug logging, very important if you're having an issue with the plugin. Um, if you're going to log a help desk ticket on my site, you um, will definitely, I'll probably end up asking you for a debug log, so it's best to turn this on, capture the issue, then come back in here and turn it off. Because if you leave it running, if you leave uh, debug logging on for an extended period of time, the log file will get quite large. Uh, the plugin allows you to use three receivers, um, put in the COM port for each one, and you can specify which receiver you want to use. If you pick one of the RFX COM receivers, it will um, okay. So if you pick this, uh, you pick the 315 receiver. It will either give you the option of which one which mode you want to run in, 315 megahertz or 310. Uh, for the 433 it only runs in 433 that's why you're, um, that's why those options don't appear. Uh, bright and dim setup. Uh, this is a um, the step when you hit the bright button on the remote, uh, one of the X10 remotes, this is the increment in which it will go up or down. It's 10% and you can change that to whatever you want. Um, temperature measurement it's either Fahrenheit or Celsius. I believe Fahrenheit is the default. Um, but if you change it to Celsius, it will. I believe this Celsius is what the actual sensors report because uh, this was created in the UK and the UK does use Celsius. But you can convert it to Fahrenheit. The plugin will convert it for you and display the appropriate temperature. Uh, we went over this option here. This, mess this option will log all messages received from the receivers to the home seer log. Um, support form, click on that, basically takes you into the BLRF support form on the message board. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, this plugin um, seems to be working fairly well. Um, I know I rely on it quite a bit. Um, this in turn works with BL Radar. I use it basically with BL Radar to do all my motion in my house and lighting control and delayed events to turn fan off um, in the bathrooms and all sorts of stuff so it's it's quite useful so I hope this has been helpful I hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps you um, learn more about this plugin and um, yeah that's um, that's all for now thanks